living here in San Diego, locals know that when it comes to protecting your home from wildfires, clearing the defensible space around your home is an absolute must. But there are some areas that can easily be overlooked. CBS 8's Brian White has been talking with experts today and he has some safety tips for you. Firefighters would be the first to tell us that in our county, fire season is year round. But as we ramp up into these especially hot and dry conditions, they say there's a few things we should be doing proactively around the house. So what we have here is a rain gutter that just is littered with uh, leaves and debris. Uh, you can see how dry this gets, and if an ember gets into this, it's poof, it's going to just light up. Andrew Merrick, owner of Aquatech Rain Gutters, did a demonstration for us in El Cajon, emphasizing just how important it is to clear them out in your home. What we would do is want to uh, first clean out all of this. I mean, you can see the amount of debris is just, you know, just starts fire. Experts say that when rain gutters are not cleaned out frequently, the leaf litter that builds up inside of it will act like a wick. When an ember during a wildland fire lands inside, of the wick area, it will ignite both sides of the material. Jason McBroom is a fire marshal for the Alpine Fire Protection District, and he says even the material your rain gutter is made out of could be a fire hazard. Vinyl rain gutters are very susceptible because the vinyl will begin to melt and it falls straight down into the combustible bed down here. Andrew installs mostly aluminum rain gutters for this reason, and he even recommends these mesh screens made out of stainless steel that let water in but keep debris out. I'm going to go ahead and set this uh, device above it so that it keeps all the debris from entering the gutter again. Fire Captain Neil Chapinski with Cal Fire gave a few more tips for fire protection around your home. When you leave the beards on the palm trees, um, that could be a, a real easy way for it to catch an ember. And he offered insight many people wouldn't think of on their own. In the gable vents like that big one right there on the fire station, you can put the 16 inch mesh uh, behind that. I'll help stop some of those uh, embers coming through that could catch your attic space on fire as well. Of course, he also stresses the importance importance of clearing out defensible space around your home. If you've done your due diligence and we come to a property and it's defendable, we can come in, do a few quick things, come back, help save your home and move on to the next. It gives everybody a better fighting chance. In San Diego County, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.